Next step is intelligent action, right? So this is this is really now where we're getting into the, the crux of, well, what are you going to do? So once we've got the strategy outlined, because I believe that too many people go through life sort of um, flying by the seats of the pants. They haven't got that clear strategy, not just for the business, but for the, the, the where they're going in, in general in life. Um, then we're going to get into intelligent action. So this is where you're going to really start making some changes from being a business operator to a business owner. Now, the first thing I want to introduce to you is the concept of inspiration versus motivation. Now, I speak with so many business owners that say, well, I just don't feel motivated, right? I need some motivation to do the things that I'm I'm doing and all the rest of it, which I think is the wrong, which is the wrong question. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring this up and, and show you this. So Every single one of us have a completely unique set of values. Those value in values in that in the hierarchy that they're in are as unique as the fingerprint on the end of your finger. When we live other people's values, we find ourselves constantly requiring external motivation. As a coach, I know if my clients are living someone else's values from the language they're using. So if they're constantly saying things like, I need to, I ought to, I should, I have to, that's a really good indication that they're living somebody else's values. When they're living their own values, so when they're living their own values, um, they're using language like I love to, I choose to, I desire to, they're inspired. Now, if you take the word inspired, inspired, in spirit, what's another word for spirit? Energy. They're in their energy. And that brings us on to the uh, fact number four, which is people don't burn out because they're working too hard. People burn out because they're not spending enough time doing the stuff that they love doing. So that's what we really want to hone in is even within your business, there's lots and lots of different things that need to be done, but there are certain things that you love doing more than others. Like in my, in my business, in my coaching business specifically, the things that I love doing are um, coaching. Uh, I love speaking. I love creating relationships. I love creating content that's valuable and, and and shareable to people. So they're the things that I want to do. There's loads of other stuff that has to be done in this business that I don't want to do. Um, and in order for me to be able to do those things and for you to be able to do those things and ultimately stay on track with your North Star trajectory, we have to use our time wisely. Fact number five, if you don't fill your day with high value activities, your day gets filled with low value distractions. If you don't fill your day with high value activities, your day gets filled with low value distractions. Fact six, there's no such thing as time management, which is relevant to the previous fact. All we can actually do is manage our priorities. The way that we do that and we start making that transition from being a business operator to a business owner is understanding the four different time dimensions. We have the dimension of distraction, the dimension of delusion, the dimension of demand, and the dimension of fulfillment. Now, I want a little bit of interaction here if possible. I'm curious to know. So we've got the uh, the four different areas. So for those of you that I can't see, um, I'm looking over here, by the way. I know the camera's there because I've got you all on the screen here. Um, it, I, what, what I would love to know, if you were being really, really honest with yourself, so you've got the four different time zones, dimension of fulfillment, demand, delusion of distraction. If you were to put a percentage of what you believe that you're spending the majority of your time in at the moment, what percentage would you allocate to each of the four areas? I'd love to, for you to if you'd pop that into the chat box. Um, it'd be great to see your answers. What is it that you believe that, um, so you've got the four different dimensions. You've got fulfillment, demand, delusion, and distraction. So the dimension of distraction are things that are not urgent and they're not important. You've got the dimension of delusion, which is things that are urgent, but they're not that important. You've got the dimension of demand, which is doing stuff that's really urgent and really important. And then you've got the dimension of fulfillment, which is things that are important, but not urgent. I'd love to know which percentage, if you were to put a figure by each, pop into the chat box. I'd love to know at present, what do you think you are spending your time in each of these? Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and please also leave a comment about what it is that you like. I'm going to be picking one of the comments and sending you a free copy of my book, North Star Thinking, Master Your Mindset, and Live a Life You Love. So make sure you get that comment.